is personal loans. Now, personal lending is, you know, just as it sounds, is based upon your personal income um, and your personal credit. So $25,000 to a half a million dollars, average of five to 10%, it is unsecured. So it means that if you don't repay it back, there's nothing for them to collect as far as collateral. There is different types of lending programs for secured financing. It's easier for you to uh, get financing if you do have collateral, but the majority of them are unsecured. Three to five year terms, I've seen it even high as seven years through, through different, uh, different uh, qualifying factors for banks. Uh, one to two week turnaround time. We've gotten, we've gotten uh, approved as, as fast as 24 to 72 hours as, uh, as well, but you wanna build in about a one to two week turnaround time from that. Personal credit is a huge, huge factor. I like to say at least 30% utilization very similar to the criteria that I see here. Uh, you know, the stronger the, um, the credit, the, the more money you're able to obtain. Okay, so just for an example, if um, you know, the average of, like if you're applying for a credit card, you know, typically the, the approval rates are, depending on the strength of the credit limits, dictates the, the, the limit of the approvals that you receive plus your income. So if I have an average of $20,000 in limits on my credit card, typically when you go for an approval, you'll get a twenty dollars to $25,000 approval versus somebody with $5,000, it's gonna be much lower. Very similar to uh, personal loans, a little bit different factors. A lot of them is term loans. Uh, there is some line of credits available, but the financials are is what they look for. So personal credit and financials are the two main factors that they look for. So if you're an employee, typically you need your last year's uh, W-2s or your last year's tax returns, your 1040s. And the last two recent pay stubs. They wanna see your year to date, your growth factor, what, how are you doing right now? Is it overshaving your last year's revenue? Are you growing or are you staying the same? These are all determining factors that they look for. Um, for self-employed, it's uh, typically your last two years uh, tax returns, your personal, and uh, what I found with working, of course, with uh, small business owners, uh, especially if you're a contractor, 1099, et cetera, that you have that ability to uh, expense a lot of your, your, your income. So when it comes down to, uh, you know, if you made $100,000, but you expense 95%, you're netting, you know, $5,000, that is a determining factor that can hurt you in that room. So always project, you know, two years ahead of the road if you're going to want to apply for loans or if you're making some good money, you want to retain it, how do you expense um, your, your income uh, to, uh, to pay Uncle Sam? So we've gone away with one year a lot of times, but typically we ask for two uh, in order to get you qualified and analyzed and pre-underwrite before submissions. All right, so there's a lot of information here and how you're able to utilize each program and the types of, of loans and qualifying factors can really help with the achievements of getting you to your target for your loan.